Okay guys, I got my line hooked up here, and you can see it. The rotor coil has no effect, it's just sitting there. I've got this hooked up to the AC side. Um, as you can see if I short it out, line goes off. So I've got it hooked up to the AC side, and uh, this amp meter is set on 10 amps. So I'm pulling uh, 0.04 of an amp. Um, like I said, I don't have the input voltage. Um, my frequency I'm running at right now, 44.2 kilohertz. Um, so I'm going to adjust this frequency here. And you can see, I can get it to light up brighter and darker. Turn it all the way off. Um, as I turn this, I'm actually going through the frequencies here. And it kind of goes way down and back up, and way down and back up, and way down and back up, and way down and back up. And there's one spot here where the bulb gets brighter than normal, which is about right there. So this is at a high frequency. Let's go to the medium range. Kind of float through it. I don't know if you can see that. I'm hoping you can. But let me put it on night mode and see if I can get that to capture. Okay. Well, you can't see it, but there are defined lines that when you hit a certain frequency actually pulse through the coil. So there uh, my frequency input is uh, 1.4 kilohertz and my amperage is about 3 amps. 3.17 of an amp. So you can see it's pretty bright. Um, I think I can get even brighter on the lower setting. I wish you guys you could see that, but you probably can't. Yeah, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see the lines moving. As I change the frequency. You guys can't see that, but that's really neat. So let's see here. Looks like the medium range frequency is about the brightest but anyway so there you go lighting up a rodent a rodent coil bulb whatever lighting up a, uh, a bulb here I don't even know how many amps watts I have no idea um, there you can see what it says Hardly. But, uh, yeah. This is an old bulb. I'm gonna grab a big bulb, see if I can light it up. Be right back. Okay, guys, I grabbed the two foot bulb. This is a very old bulb, so normally this is about the, the bright, as bright as it will get. But, uh, this actually lights up fairly well all the way around to a higher frequency. All right, I'm gonna grab a real big bulb. Okay, guys, I have a four-foot bulb now, and turn all the lights off here. It's uh, dimly lit, but it is lit. Let's see if I can get it any brighter. It's a little brighter. Maybe you can see those now. Let me see, hold on. Okay guys, I got you sitting down the bulb so you can actually see the whole thing. Um, 
you can actually see that I can adjust the frequency and light it up more or less. That little strobe light effect. Um, what else is pretty cool with this is, like I said, I have a gating frequency on this. So, I can actually, let me turn this up, create a strobing effect. Should be able to see that on the camera. But uh, my gating frequency is shutting it off. It's pretty cool. So anyway guys, that's all I got for you. Um, see, I'm putting in uh, one. I'm turning the gating off. Eh, 2.5 amp. Lighting up a uh, four foot bulb. Um, see if I can find any information on this one for you. There you go. Alright, well, I've had enough. You guys figure out what the heck's wrong with my meters and my uh, voltage across my road and coal. Help me out with that. I'll be happy. And, uh, if I figure it out, that'll be awesome. Okay, guys, I'm out.